Welcome back to the War Group of One, and in today's video we're going to be taking a quick look at two units from the Orc War Clans, more specifically the new uh, Cruel Boys unit line, the Snatcher Boss and the Slogoth. Now I think these two units are fantastic units for the Orcs, and they provide a whole lot of uh, benefits, especially if you are running Cruel Boys. First up is the Snatcher Boss on Slugraker Beast. These come in at 315 points, and they have a basic stat line of 8 inch move, 6 bravery, 14 wounds, and a 4 up save. They have four really powerful uh, melee profiles the chain linked grappling hook, 3 inch reach, 3 attacks, 3s to hit, 3s to wound, 1 rend, 3 damage, the grasping talons, 3 inch reach, a degrading chart for attacks. 3s to hit, 3s to wound, 2 rend, 2 damage, noisome bite, 1 inch reach, 1 attack, 3s to hit, 2s to wound, 1 rend, and then a degrading chart for damage, and then last but not least, thrashing tail, three, uh, excuse me, 1 inch reach, 2 attacks, 3s to hit, a degrading chart for wounds, 2 rend, and then 2 damage. Now, here is the really nasty thing. Uh, the unique ability of this beast is it gives plus one to the mortal wound damage from venom encrusted weapons to all units that have that ability wholly within 12 of it. So this is absurdly powerful. This is more or less a plus one damage buff. AoE. Because um, the... Cruel Boys get a lot of their power from their Venom Encrusted Weapons, so to buff that with a plus one Mortal Wound or a plus one damage, essentially, is crazy strong. And keep in mind, this also applies to itself, so um, it's it's pretty sweet. It's great to have near the front lines with your the rest of your units really dishing out some hurt. Additionally, once per battle, it can try and snatch an enemy model. So basically, you can target an enemy model that has less than 7 wounds, no mount, and you are in combat with it. And you roll 2d6, and if you beat the target's wound characteristic, it is considered slain. So you, like, grapple it and you capture it or snatch it up. So that's a neat little ability, pretty fluffy. I wouldn't count on it too much. It can come in handy if you have just one more unit that you need to get rid of. But beyond that, it's really all about that... Uh, AoE damage buff. So the Snatcher boss is, should be treated as a force multiplier. You want this thing in the midst of your units really dishing out that buff and the fact that they have uh, 14 wounds and a 4 up save is really powerful. They're tough and they're going to do, do a lot of damage in melee combat. Um, with the buffs themselves as well as just their fantastic melee profiles and the damage they can dish out. These things are the real deal. They're scary. Um, if you want to maximize their efficiency, keep them in the center of your formation and near the front lines. Also, the uh, they work well in tandem with a Marsh Crawler Slogoth. Now that is the next unit we're going to cover, and you'll see why that I recommend having them nearby. Speaking of the Marsh Crawler Slogoth, uh, they come in at 150 points, and they have a stat line of 6 inch move, 5 bravery, 12 wounds, and a 4 up save. They have two melee profiles, the Catch a Net and the Snatch a Sticks, two inch reach, four attacks, four is to hit, four is to wound, no rend, one damage, then the Raking Claws, one inch reach, four attacks, three is to hit, three is to wound, no, uh, one rend, two damage. Now, here is the real, real deal. Uh, their unique ability is they give plus one to hit for friendly units wholly within 18. This is massive. Um, one of the downsides for some orc units is their accuracy. Like, they do a whole bunch of damage, but they might not be hitting as often as other units. So just having that aura of plus one to hit is super powerful. Um, and if you remember on the... Snatch a boss, a lot of his weapons and profiles hit on threes and then wound on twos. So then you're going to be hitting on twos and wounding on twos if you're near this thing. And that is absurdly powerful. That can really bump up the damage a lot. So this is a great force multiplying ability. Um, they also have a smaller version of the snatch a thing that the um, Snatch a boss has, but this is every end of combat if you want. You can pick an enemy model and roll dice. If the dice is double the model's wound characteristics, that model is considered slain. So this is pretty good for 
uh, taking out some weaker-ish infantry. Um, because you just got to think it gets ex exponentially harder the more tough the creature is. So it's pretty likely that you'll be able to kill one wound models, uh, slightly less likely to kill two wound models, and then pretty unlikely to kill three wound models. But it's not unheard of. So uh, that is something to keep in mind. So this is a good force multiplying unit, like I said. Uh, it negates one of the orcs' bigger downsides and just kind of really helps their accuracy up a bit. And honestly, for what it does, it's pretty cheap. It's only 1,500 points. Or not 1,500 points, excuse me, that's a lot of points. I meant 150. Um, additionally, their aura, the 18 inches, is huge. That's really far. Um, if you can, if you stick that kind of in the middle of the field, you can cover most, if not all, of wherever your units want to be. So they're really flexible and gives you a lot of leeway in terms of how to use them properly. Really forgiving. Um, you want to keep these guys as alive as long as you can um, because they are not quite as scary and melee as the snatch a boss so they'll be a little bit more vulnerable to combat and getting killed um, so you want to keep them protected behind your front lines and your other heroes so that was a short little unit spotlight of the snatch a boss and slogoth i think these guys are a fantastic uh, set of models i think if you honestly if you wanted to take two slogoths for a 2000 point list that would be pretty great because then it would force your opponent to chew through two of them in order to get rid of your buff um, the snatcher boss is a little expensive to run two of them i'm not you definitely could but since the plus one damage does not stack as far as i'm aware um, it's less useful than just broadcasting the aura for plus one to hit a little bit easier for the price but anyway, if you enjoyed that video, please leave a like or a comment. And if you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing. Um, if you have a suggestion for a future video, uh, you please leave that in the comments below. This has been the Wargrove of Will, and I'll talk to you guys next time.